Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another exciting Hermes unboxing for you guys today. This time I picked up items um, in the jewelry category and home goods. So if you wanna check out everything that I decided to pick up in this little mini haul, in addition to a special order I made and a bag I unfortunately had to turn down, um, definitely keep on watching. If you're new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full-time working mom. In my spare time, I love making videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, a little bit of reselling in addition to luxury as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos and be sure to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss future content like this. All right, guys, so as I've been sharing with you guys throughout this entire year, I'm on what I would say the Hermes journey that everyone talks about. Let me just mention that whenever I hear about the Hermes journey, I feel like that's pretty silly. Um, and I don't know if I like that phrase, but actually, I think the sales associates at Hermes call it that. Um, I know because after my last purchase of my Iran sandals um, that I unboxed with you guys, I did get a really thoughtful little postcard from my sales associate just saying how it was nice working with me and um, he hopes to continue working with me on my Hermes journey. <laughs> so he actually called it that. I thought that was kind of funny. Nonetheless, I hope it's helpful to you guys as you can see kind of the things that I am picking up as I explore this brand more. So I hope to provide some useful information with regard to that. I will also share price points of these items because I think for luxury purchases, it's definitely helpful to know, especially, you know, as there are price increases as we go um, moving ahead, it's nice to know kind of what a comparison price would be, at least at the time of this video. So I will share all that information with you guys. I had an amazing experience in my visit there yesterday. I was in there for probably close to an hour and just enjoyed chatting about stuff. I saw some really new items. They have a beautiful new set of scotch glasses that he showed me, which was gorgeous. Um, he did say that they are starting to get a little bit more stock in of things, so I'm excited about that. But first things first, let me just go ahead and unbox this. And then I'll tell you a little bit more about some things that, you know, I checked out as well. All right, so this is a pretty big bag, but per usual, it's not all that full. <laughs> but I do have two items to share with you guys. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I also did place a deposit for a jewelry item. So let me pull out the boxes that I have here. And I'm going to pull out my receipt here. Okay, so I have these two really skinny boxes here, and I will say that I did check out one of the bags. So I'm on the hunt for an Evelyn. I might have talked about that before, Eveline. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, and I really want the size 29, which is the PM size. I know that the TPM size, the very smallest version, um, or one of the smaller versions, is super popular now. But for me, at least, I need to carry a little more. So I have my eye on the size 29. So I asked about the size 29 Evelyn, and they did have one in stock, and it was this beautiful kind of cobalt color, which I didn't mind. I actually like that kind of blue. But then the strap wasn't their classic, just monochromatic strap. It had a pattern on it, kind of a, um, I guess, checkerboard type of print. So I thought it looked really cool, but you know, honestly with Hermes, if I'm buying their handbags, I tend to just really gravitate toward neutral colors just because I wanna use them a lot. And I think that a bag that has a very flashy type of strap like that just wouldn't be that practical for me, at least for this type of handbag. I think handbags that are a little lower price points, uh, contemporary type of designers, for instance, I like to go for something a little bit unique and different. But for these designer houses, you know, I just really like to stick to kind of neutral or basic type of colorways. I mean, at least for now. So I love the size. I love the leather. It was gorgeous. But I decided to pass on that just because I want to hold out for something that's a little more practical for me. So that was that bag that I unfortunately had to turn down. Um, but I did pick up two other items. And so let me just show you what they are first. Um, the first item, why don't I just do this small one here? So it comes, of course, in the typical wrapping. I'm going to undo the ribbon here. This is a true unboxing. I have not seen it uh, since I got home from the store. But it is, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a piece of costume jewelry. And it comes in this really nice pouch here. 
and it has a little care booklet as well. So in this really beautiful dust bag, I'm going to reveal my new mini Kelly Double Tour leather bracelet. So I decided to pick up this beautiful mini Double Tour Kelly bracelet in this gorgeous black leather and it is in the rose gold tone hardware which I absolutely love. They do make the original Kelly bracelet, again this is the mini, that was a little bit thick for what I wanted to use this for which is next to my watch. So I tried that on as well but I decided to go with a mini version that's a little smaller. I did get a size T2 in case you're curious. I do have a pretty small wrist. Um, so for instance, my love bracelets are in a size 16. Um, but I, um, I don't know, I think the size T2 fit me pretty well. I think the T1 would be a little bit too tight for me. So let me go ahead and show you some shots up close and I will also remove the stickers and show you just how pretty the hardware is. This is so satisfying to remove hardware stickers, I think because it comes off so nicely, as you can see here, and it just feels good to take it off. I don't know, it's very satisfying. So here's how pretty the hardware is under the sticker, and it does say Hermes Paris. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it does say that on the hardware, which of course is nice. And then let me just quickly remove the other stickers as well. So there are stickers on every section here so here's what the hardware looks like when the stickers are removed so it's this beautiful rose tone hardware and on the inside it is stamped with Hermes Paris if you're curious so here's the stamp on the inside and it's the double tour style, which means that it wraps around twice. So let's see if I can put this on myself. Sometimes it always gets a little tricky here, but you basically just clasp one in here. And I like the style because it is easy, as you can see, to put on yourself. Some bracelets can be really hard. Like I checked out the Revol bracelet, which um, is really pretty as well. And I may at some point add to my collection, but it's a little harder to get off and on. So this one I thought was super easy to do, but I think this bracelet really is a nice mix with my watch here. I intend to wear it kind of like this, I think, um, next to the watch. Uh, I may wear it a little higher up some days, but I just think it's a pretty kind of look. This is classic Hermes, of course. So yeah, I really like the style. Again, it's the T2 size, and for me it's perfect. Um, it doesn't roll around my wrist. I don't like when bracelets roll around and flip over. So for me at least, this was a good look. So this is the first in my collection. So in case you're curious about this mini double tour bracelet, I will tell you the price point. Um, so this one retailed for $445, and again, it's a size T2, and the leather is black or noir. So that was my first purchase, so I'm super excited about this and looking forward to wearing it. I think it's just kind of a nice little casual vibe, and I don't know, I think it kind of goes well with my Apple Watch because it does have the rose tone hardware on the watch as well. So really, really loving um, that first piece. So the next purchase here is a little bit of an impulse purchase, although I had my eye on similar items before. And I just noticed this walking around the store and I said, hey, do you have any of that in stock? I hadn't seen this particular version before. I think this one may be a little bit hard to come by. It's definitely not on the website. And um, you know, if you look out in the pre-loved uh, market, actually this retails for quite a bit more than I actually paid for it. So I was super excited to see that. So I think that this is something that is, you know, a neat item to pick up, especially because, you know, I hadn't really come across it. So let me go ahead and just unbox it, then I'll tell you more about it. All right, so it comes in this really nice, thin box. So I'll go ahead and open this up. So this is my first piece of their porcelain, and it comes with a little care booklet, of course. But this is a beautiful square platter from the Mosaic collection. Look at that. 
So I've had my eye on this collection for quite some time. I think a lot of people talk about it. I often see people talk about the sushi plate, which is a lot smaller than this. I would say probably maybe half the size, um, where people like to put their jewelry on it. Um, but I came across this version and I hadn't seen the square version before. And I just think this is, you know, so, so pretty. All right, well, let me see if I can tell you the exact name of it. It says Petite Carré Mosique AU24 on the box. And um, let's see, on the receipt, that's essentially what it says. It's a square plate, it's called. And it retails for $270. And this is, I believe, a porcelain um, platter. And it has um, some beautiful details, which I will show you up close. Uh, let me just check it out. Um, but this is just amazing. I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on this piece. I love this pattern and this is a little bit of a unique size. I just haven't seen this particular square platter all that often before. So here's what it looks like up close. So look at that print. It's just super, super beautiful. And here is the logo in the back. And here's a little emblem here. I think all of the artisans have their own little emblem, I think. Um, that's really cute there, but here is what the stamping looks like. But yes, this is just, just stunning. And for some reason, I keep showing it to you, I think, upside down, but here's the right way. All right, so they actually didn't have the sushi platter in stock, but they did have it in the silver version. So instead of the gold um, coloration here, there's a version that's all gray or silver. But I wanted the gold. Um, I really like uh, gold incorporating a lot of my items and accessories, obviously. So I uh, wanted to go for the gold version. It's a little bit more pop, I think. So when I saw this platter, I knew I wanted to pick it up because I think it would be perfect for um, storing things uh, on my vanity. So I'm going to put not just my jewelry, I think maybe on part of it I'll put the jewelry that I wear every day. And then the other part I'm going to put, for instance, my most favorite perfumes that I'm wearing during that season, just like laid out here. So I think it'll be a perfect kind of catch-all tray and it's just gorgeous. I think it's a unique shape and it provides a little more room than a sushi plate to hold some things because I got a lot of jewelry, I got a lot of perfumes. It definitely won't hold all of my perfumes for sure, but just the ones that I rotate most heavily, I'm just gonna keep this on my vanity. So yes, super happy about this and I hope to add some other pieces in the future. I will be having to go to several um, bridal showers. I think that um, this would be an awesome gift for somebody to put their jewelry and, you know, makeup and perfume on. So super excited that I got my hands on this. And my sales associate did mention that this, I think, was just recently restocked. In fact, when I pointed it out to him in the boutique, he said, oh, I didn't even realize that was put out there. Um, and then he was able to go in the back and this was a brand new version. It was wrapped in the plastic wrap and everything. So I was super excited that uh, I could pick it up. I think it was kind of the right place and right time. They had just gotten a shipment in. So super thrilled um, that I picked that one up. All right, so just to wrap this little video up, I did, as I mentioned, put a deposit for a piece of fine jewelry. This will be my first piece of fine jewelry and I'm not gonna reveal it to you yet because I'm gonna unbox it, of course, when I get it in. But like a lot of things in the boutiques these days, everything's back order, the stock is a little limited. So um, although they had several of these pieces in that I could try out, um, they didn't actually have the size that I needed. So my sales associate did say that they could actually order it to be custom made for that size and they will ship it to the boutique. I did have to place a deposit for about half of the retail price. Um, and you know, we'll see when it comes in. He did warn me that sometimes it takes a little bit long for these kind of special order items to come in. So even up to what he said, six months. So I don't know, six months is kind of a long time, but I figured, you know, none of this is a necessity. I can wait six months for what I really want. So 
I did place that order. So stay tuned. I will unbox that item for you, obviously, when I get it and share with you a little bit more about it. But that was the other thing that I kind of put on my card yesterday. So all in all, it was a really, really fun day and I picked up some great new pieces. I'm really, really enjoying um, exploring different items from the brand and just learning more about it. Um, I've kind of been bitten by the Hermes bug, as you say, a lot of people um, do as well. So yeah, I'm really excited that you guys are along this journey with me and I will keep you posted along the way. Um, let me know down below what you think about these pieces and what your favorites are from the line now because I definitely am interested in kind of checking out different products too. All right, guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.